up everybody welcome back to the channel it's been a long time since I uploaded a video this is the first video it's been a while I've been uh, just working on uh, you know getting my all my finances in order and everything and then uh, so I pretty much did that and then uh, this virus thing uh, came out of nowhere and uh, you know so I've been uh, been doing this quarantine thing I guess it looks like it's starting to come to an end uh, so I live in South Carolina, where it looks like we're going to be one of the first states to open. Uh, this stuff's getting pretty old. Um, so yeah, basically all I've been doing is uh, I've been working from home. Uh, I've been very lucky. I've been able to keep my job. Uh, finally, as you saw a little teaser clip at the beginning of this video, I did finally fix my uh, blower motor for the AC um, and heat. So just in time for the summer, because it's going to be getting hot. And boy, I did not want to not have that. Um, so I took the car to the dealership, as I was talking about in my last video, uh, to have them look at it because there was the recall on the wiring harness for the blower motor and I wanted them to take a look at that and tell me if there was anything that could have, uh, you know, happened with that that was causing it to not work and they did and they told me that it was the blower motor, the wiring was perfectly fine and uh, I actually confirmed that myself using a, a test on it and pull out in the middle of this here. Anyway, I got it fixed, and uh, when they had it there, Hendrick BMW uh, in Charlotte was kind enough to do a full inspection of the car. They searched it over, basically said this was one super clean 335i. The only thing they said was the thrust arm bushings, which uh, I looked that up, or thrust arms and the bushings, and uh, I looked it up, and that's basically part of the control arm kit. So I want to replace mine with the M3 control arm kit, so that's something I'm definitely going to do. Uh, I'm going to have to save up for that. It might be one of those kind of things where I save up, I buy it, and it sits in my garage for a little while while I save up to have it put on because to do all that, you're gonna I'm going to have to get an alignment when it's all said and done, and uh, I don't want to be you know, doing that on all four wheels in my garage and then having to drive it somewhere. And, all, and I, I don't even know if I can do it, to be honest. So it's something that I'm just definitely going to let my mechanic take a look at, and uh, hopefully he'll... Uh, He'll be able to you know, get that done for a reasonable price. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, last time I saw him, I don't even remember what the car was in the shop for anymore. It might have been my uh, injectors at that time. He said he had recently done it on a 335 diesel, and he said it was just awesome Like, because the car was always in torque. And uh, I think something like that would be pretty cool on an M54. It would make it kind of closer to the, the, you know, the M3 that... Not that they should have made, but you know how the 1M uses the M54, so it has more of the driving characteristics in terms of drivetrain as like a 335i or a, or even a, a S55 powered, um, you know, one of the newer turbo uh, M engines. So I think that would be a really cool step in the right direction for this car. And uh, I'm excited about doing it, but I don't know how long it's going to be before I can actually get to it. So yeah, basically yeah, I said the, the quarantine thing, it's sort of starting to end here. Uh, a lot of the retail stores are starting to reopen uh, here. So I, I don't know. I mean, I need a haircut, but you know, I'm not sure I really want to go get my haircut given all the situation that's going on right now. So you know, who knows? who knows what the future holds. I really hope things get better. You know, I want to be an optimist about everything that's going on, and uh, yeah, that's basically all I've got for you guys, but stay tuned, uh, I'm going to be doing things on this car, uh, hopefully the next thing will be that control arm kit, and uh, at some point too, I, I want to get this car retinted, I mean, I live in South Carolina, we don't have inspections, you know, so uh, some dark windows would be nice on this thing, maybe a windshield tint. Uh, it'd be great you know I see people like that driving like that all the time around here and uh, you know it's, it's kind of a rural county I live in like they're not they're not gonna be bothering people about window tents um, anyway guys I'm gonna sign off uh, I'm just rambling at this point so uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching